Oh no, okay. I hope this, I am going to switch to, well, we'll see if this works. I hope it stays on. I could switch to data, but then, I don't know. Anyways, hello. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk about something that I thought, I, I missed the whole quote and I can't remember where I heard it from. I don't know, maybe it was from Deborah and Corbin. It says, what will define your future? Old beliefs or, what did I write there? And then I put, like, it's maybe it was Greg Braden. Anyways, <laughs> I listened to so many things. What will define your future? I put at the end, old beliefs or what you desire. Right? Because if we don't think about what we are want to create or what we want to have in the future or anything like that, if we just keep accepting our life the way it is and just keep living each day over and over, basically, right, without stopping and really taking stock of what have I created? What do I want to create? What's right in my life? What do I want to change in my life? Um, then you can, you know, you can end up feeling flat and unfulfilled. And it's quite common women in midlife, men too, men too, we know that. So anybody in midlife beyond, like, you know, in those ages, um, what they used to call the midlife crisis. Because you have this feeling of like, I think there's something more for me. I want something more. I, this doesn't feel fulfilling anymore. This doesn't feel right. Why am I not super happy, right? Like, the, oh, thank you, whoever's watching. It's not showing me that anybody's watching. Comments. Anyways, can you, I can put a comment on my machine. So that's so important, right? Because we got to think, um, when you're aware of, okay, this is really what I want to create in my life, then each day it's going to be, Focusing on that and setting some intentions and oh Becky, hello, setting intentions and going about making sure that there's no limiting beliefs that get in the way or that you're taking steps, at least you're starting to. And that can even be starting to journal about it, starting to visualize it, starting to feel the feelings of having it. Because we know when you want to manifest something, you must feel the feelings, right? That's what it's about, not just talking it or saying it or looking at a picture of it. So you really have to believe. And I think that often what happens is we start to look at what we want, <clears throat> how we want things to change or whatever. And then we get self-doubt, right? Second, oh, we hear other people's voices in our head saying, you can't really do that. That's not possible for you. Don't be so silly, right? And I was talking to a, uh, someone today and we were talking about what happens sometimes in midlife too, your kids are gone and some people have this home now. This home may have a yard, may have a huge lot, and there's so much to take care of. My hair is uneven. There's so much to take care of, right? And so you feel tied down and bogged down by the high mortgage, by all the cleaning you have to do, by all the maintenance it needs, by all the yard work it needs. And if you are in this phase 50 and over around there, oh my God, that's not something you need to be focused on unless it's what you really, really want, right? It's time in our life for us to kind of to take stock and kind of go, how do I want the rest of my life to be? What do I want to feel like? What do I want to have? What do I want to do? What do I want to experience in this next phase of life? And way too many people are not allowing themselves to do that not allowing themselves to dream or to believe there's something better or different or fear. Fear comes in, right? The fear of like, I'm too old. That's not possible. I have no way. I don't know how that will ever happen. And here's this thing about that. You don't right now know how that could possibly happen, but are you going to let that stop you? Are you going to completely say, because we could say no to everything. We could say no to everything, right? There's an excuse for everything. There's self-doubt always when you go to make a change, when you go to make a move, when you go to up-level. There's always self-doubt. Self-doubt or um, finding it hard to believe it's possible does not mean you should stop. It doesn't mean it's not meant for you. If you have a desire in your heart, if you really feel like, I really want this, I really desire this, I really wish it could be like this, then it is for you. It is something you really desire. And you have to acknowledge that and respect that and find a way to get it. Only when you give up is that failure. And only when you give up. I mean, when you get 20 years from now, 10 years from now, 
So I'm turning 60 on November 11th, which, well, oh, I don't even want to say it. Um, 10 years, I'll be 70. Only 10 years. And I know how fast 40 and 50 went and how fast 50 and 60 went. Let me tell you, 50 to 60 goes very, very fast. <laughs> so I can imagine how fast it will feel like from 60 to 70 is going, right? So if I just let every day be like the last day, be like the day before, be like the day before, nothing's going to change. And 10 years from now, I'm going to be like, oh, my God, I never did those things I said I would. I never got to experience those things. I never let myself. Oh, my God. Right. All these regrets. And I, for one, am not choosing regret. I'm not going to choose regret. I think now in this phase of my life at this age, it's better to try for it than not. Than not because what do you got to lose like really right and I know some people are thinking well if I leave my husband if I leave this job what will I do what well, well I would not say the jump off part is to do it right away with no no plan right <laughs> we're not saying that so you don't just leave your job one day without a plan or leave your spouse one day and just all of a sudden you're homeless right you don't do that the big change begins inside of you. The change begins in doing the inner work and the reflection work and the journaling or the talking to someone or getting help, guidance, support, counsel, whatever, that can start you making little changes, little changes that will bring you towards. And you don't even know what road you'll, you will end up on. You could, you know, we go down one path for going down one path. It's feeling really good. It's looking really good. And then all of a sudden, something else shows up and you're like, oh, wow, this is so much better, right? Because when you're open to possibilities, when you're open to change, when you're open to seeing what's really available to you, then those things will show up because they're now, you are now open to it. So it's going to be, therefore, in your field of reality in your um, space that you live in like like you're looking around instead of just looking like this right if you're just looking straight ahead like this same 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 you're not going to see what else is available and you may say nothing comes to me I'm not lucky um no one offers me things because you're going through life like this you're going through life straight ahead looking repeating the same things the same thoughts the same words the same beliefs the same habits all of that day after day after day Wishing things will change. Maybe someone will come and save you. Maybe I'll find this. I wish that would happen to me. Make it happen to you. All right? We got to make it happen to you. Um, I was at a natural path today because I have a damn rash. I don't know if you can see it with the filter. Um, she was great. But, you know, when I tell someone I was in Bali, we were talking about when I had a rash before or whatever. Um, they're always like, oh my God, that's amazing that you spent like nine months there, <laughs> which is true, right? But it's like, well, I totally made it. Like I made it happen. I decided I wanted it. I knew I wanted it. I wanted to do something like that for years and an opportunity came, but the opportunity was the end of a relationship, right? Like a relationship, a very long relationship ended. I thought we were together 16 years, but I don't think it was. I don't know. We never kept track. We were together for a very long time, living together. Then that relationship ended. So it's not like everything was, oh, heart and roses, and I just magically went to Bali, right? It was like, oh, my God, the relationship's ended. I don't have a place to live right now, right? Like, where am I going to go? So my decision at that moment was, if I have to, I'm not even going to rent a place. I'm going to go to Bali and live there and work online. And all the years before that, what did I do? got now <clears throat> I'm still working on building my business but I was planning that was my plan I wanted freedom I wanted to be able to live where I wanted to live do what I wanted to do so I thought an online business is the best so for someone is like oh my god what would I do if I quit my job now you would start something on the side let's say if you want to do online or whatever before you quit your job like I was doing all that I still work part-time guys right like it's not all or nothing it is not all or nothing. You make changes as you go with kind of visioning what you kind of want. And that may change. And being okay if the path changes. Being okay if there's twists and turns in the path. Because you can handle 
everything. You can handle anything. You are strong. You did not to get to be around 50 years old and not be a strong woman. I can tell you women are the strongest people. Absolutely. You can handle anything. You can create from your wisdom that you have now. You're not a 20-year-old anymore, right? You have wisdom. You have life experience. You have knowledge. You have the ability. How many things have people our age learned over the years? I know me. I My first office job, our office got a word processor. <laughs> my boss had one of the only computers in the whole building. This was a huge building of offices. One of the only computers my boss had. And then I had this big, huge, it was basically a glorified typewriter. That was huge, right? That's where I started, right? And I have learned all of the computer stuff, all, all the technology as the years have gone by, right? Like we can learn you can still learn, you can still grow, you can still expand, you can still try different things. There's so much available to you. You just got to go for it. And being part of a supportive community for that makes all the difference. So here's the thing. I should have mentioned this. I am starting a like a monthly membership thing. We'll pay for three, like you go for three months for sure. And we might extend it. And that this is exactly what it's about. It's about living a healthy life. It's about living a life that you love. It's about finding your more fulfillment in your life, starting some really solid practices to to for your intuition, for your uh, tapping into your soul message, all of those things, really getting into you and deciding your life. So a community of women, because truly women need to support each other in that way, because in our in your personal life, you may not have people that think about those things. So it's for self growth, right? Personal growth, health, all of that. Mindset, health, soul work, spirit work, whatever. And it doesn't matter what faith you are. That's not what matters. The important thing is that you have a practice of connecting to yourself to a higher power or something. You want to feel more grounded every day, more calm, more peaceful, more connected, more joyful, and more fulfilled. And know, wow, I love that I'm making these positive changes in my life. I love that I'm doing this for me. So that is coming soon in the beginning of uh, November. More information coming soon. If you want to know a little more now, you can message me on Facebook and I will send you a voicemail more about it. Ooh, that was good. And if you're on YouTube, come join Women Living Boldly 50 Plus, my Facebook community. And um, for everybody else, I am on YouTube, Diana Marchand. And I often put these videos up on my YouTube for those who are not on Facebook. Share the message. If you think someone else needs to know, feel free to share this video. It's all great. Let me know you watch. Comment below. Give me a like. Give me a love. Let me know you watch. What are you thinking? What's your thoughts on this topic? <laughs> all right. So much love to you. Bye.